Hello, my name is Children, and welcome back to Center Stage. We have a returning act this time in the form of Stum Jäger. He has decided to switch over from the US server to the SEA server, probably because of the horrible ping that Australian players like Stum Jäger and Striker, who's also been on the channel before, uh, have to play in. Therefore, if you would look at his stats on the SCA server, it would say that he's only played around 2,000 battles and has quite a high win rating and efficiency because of this. He is a very accomplished player, so don't say it's just a re-roll if you are unaware that he's been playing before. Anyway, enough of that. We are taking a look at Stumjaga on the map Balanovka. I don't know how I forgot the name of Balanovka. <laughs> it's one of the oldest maps in the game. And he is in the FCM 50T, a older tier 8 premium French heavy tank, which is actually more of a heavy tank than you may expect, considering it is in the French line. Um, most French heavy tanks of tier 8, well tier 7, 8, 9 and 10 are pretty much butter tanks in terms of their hull and turret armour. The AMX 50B at tier 10 does have some decent turret, um, hull armour from the front, but its turret is still butter. The AMX, on the other hand, has some strong armor. I'm not sure what its turret front is, but I know the upper plate on the hull is 120. It hasn't got the best angle, but it is still angled back, meaning its effective is over 120. The sides are a lot weaker, unfortunately, and quite big and flat. There is some form of angle going on but not a significant chance of a ricochet. You do have a interesting angle here with these little panels and the potential to bounce when side scraping perhaps is there but it isn't really something you should rely on. The rear as well also has an interesting reverse slope like the Lerva but it is the rear of the tank and therefore you aren't going to block too many shots there. Whole hit points, it's 1500, it's the same as a Tiger 1 tank at here 7 and 100 less than that of the Tiger 2. I think the IS has the same hit points as well, IS 3 that is. So you don't have the most hit points but you don't have the least. You do have a very good gun however and it's that 90mm DCA 45 gun, 240 average damage and 212 penetration with standard ammunition. And with the upgraded ammunition, you have 259 pen and 240 average damage. And he's also carrying 6 HE. Probably for artillery or potential light tanks. And yeah, the chat is a little bit toxic. Um, that's how it is, I'm afraid, in World of Tanks. I often turn it off because I'm concentrating on shooting people, but not actually uh, listening to people bad mouth me. Slightly unfortunate to hit the side angle of the IS-6 there. The IS-6 does have some very strong side armor. Uh, he clearly was going for the rear but unfortunately shell deviated to the right slightly and also you have to remember he's playing at around 130 to 150 ping which for me is unbearable. <laughs> um, it's really annoying. I, I usually play at about 70 or 50 to 70 ms, which is not too bad, it's it's quite nice. Trying to go for the side of the T-34 there, but unfortunately the T-34 had his turret slightly angled and therefore the shell just bounced. But it is a good idea to go for the side of that turret because when it is presented at a flat angle, it isn't very strong. Especially against 212 penetration. I should mention that the fact that it is a premium, it does make a lot of credits. As well as the fact the ammunition doesn't cost too much. It's quite similar to, and he takes a bouncer, takes, it's quite similar to that of the, uh, what's it called, the Jag Tiger 88 in terms of that has an 88mm gun and this has a 90mm gun. It's very similar. The CDC again also has relatively cheap ammunition in comparison to that of an IS 6 or the 1112. Sorry, the 1. 12 or the WZ111. 
those have those 122 millimeter guns and their shell costs are over a thousand per shot also they have to rely on heat rounds sometimes especially in the case of the one one uh the 112 and the is6 also has that terrible 217 penetration with its apcr rounds which you're gonna need in tier 9 matches and tier 10 matches if you experience tier 10 tanks fortunately it does get penetrated though uh where does that go it goes in in one of the strongest parts of the tank which is unfortunate i have bounced several shots off the front of that turret it is somewhat troll especially the side here you're not going to penetrate often unless you have a very very big gun now unfortunately because it's a very tall and big tank and because the engine deck is huge look at that the artillery are always going to have a punt at you but as you can see Strumyug is doing some good work here he's up to 1500 damage 1600 now and he's been suffering from quite a few low rolls 190 some quite high rolls there was a slightly above average roll there 244 that was a very close artillery round i don't know who that hit it must have been the oni yeah it must have been the oni behind him uh unfortunately it gets penetrated there by the m41 walker bulldog in the side of the hull i believe looking for that shot yep there it is down there i think i actually see it i think it was in the side anyway so like I was saying earlier, the side armor is nothing remarkable. But the speed going downhill, as you can see, is very good. It's not as fast as a CDC, obviously. CDC has a very, very good engine of 1200 horsepowers. And it is very lightly armored. Now, Stormyog has noticed the base is under threat, and that is something you will gain with experience. Uh, an intuition to know that when an enemy is going to push into your flank or into your base or whatever always look at the minimap i usually have mine quite large maybe not so large as this but enough to see uh, a clear picture in a different tier 8 premium tank such as the lover he wouldn't have been able to get back this quickly the french tanks of tier 8 premiums anyway do have good mobility Better mobility in the CDC, but this is still no slouch. It has got a very, very decent mo um, engine and track traverse and acceleration. So he's another IS-6 in the open, or is it the same one from earlier? Possibly another one. Gets a good side shot in. IS-6 is angling slightly, but at the first shot, it wasn't a very good angle. Second shot, unfortunately, just bounces towards the back of the side or the back side <laughs> the FCM goes for a little bit of water there but it's fine powers up the slope and tries to get another shot on target at the I-6 star gets spotted, pulls back, bounces off the front of the hull I believe uh, yep just off the hull there clipped off and a clean ricochet Let's see, can he get a shot there? No, he needs to aim a little bit. The aim time can be quite long. Uh, I don't actually know the full aim time. I know it's over around two and a half seconds. Maybe it's even three seconds. I, I don't actually know that. I believe it's about two and a half. The CDC, again, has better aim time. But you can still get round the side of an IS-6. And I think his turret must have been damaged because he couldn't turn it very fast at all. And he goes down with some support fire from the GW Panther. This game has actually been very close if you've been keeping up with the team scores. Four tanks on each side. Artillery is trying to take a shot at Sturm Jäger because he is in the most capable machine in terms of his speed, armour and gun. Not to say the Oni doesn't have armour but... It doesn't have the speed. You notice how Stumjäger has gone all around the map and this is something you're going to have to do if you want to carry games pretty much. Gets spotted by the RU251 but manages to get a shot in before he takes cover down in this slope. Trying to hide most of his hole from 
the M50 355. I hate those artillery. They are the bane of my existence when I play higher tiers, tier 8 and higher. I've just lost the only, so it is now 3 versus 4. Two artillery, a heavy tank and a light tank, which is in the open. Oh, that's unfortunate. Gets a return shot on target, however, but his Amarak is damaged with a heat round through the side of the hull. Uh, I can't actually see where the impact landed. I assume the side of the turret, but he repairs that quite quickly. Good long range accuracy there. That was a 500 meter shot, and he gets another hit from the side from the RU251. Oh, that was painful. That was so painful. AMX-39 has got his back though in terms of the RU-251. Interestingly, the RU-251 fired a HE round doing very little damage. I have seen several people fire HE at FCMs and they have just been shocked to see that it hasn't done enough damage or penetrated. However, artillery M5355 does get a huge shell into him, 563 damage. He is lucky not to die there, I must admit. Uh, but then again, the RNG is very strong with artillery, and it can give a fan take if away. Lucky to avoid that shell again. Yeah, the aim time is very long, as you saw there. SU-122A, who shouldn't really be in this game, but he's platooned up with one of the I-6s gets taken out in one shot. Good job you had a slightly uh, higher roll. Well not higher roll but not anything below 210. <laughs> and one more shot into the air. And 53, 55. Takes him down and a big arty splash to the left hand side of the tank. Almost leads to a, uh, a trade. <laughs> but four kills 4,094 uh, 4, damage in a quite a long game, um, but it did show the strengths and the weaknesses of the FCM, and we'll just take a look at the post-game statistics. So here we are with the post-game stats of Stream Yoga's game in the FCM 50T. A mastery badge, hand of God surviving when the battle having received damage from at least four enemy vehicles, including that horrible artillery spotter, bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect, 77,000 credits, 77,500, and 3,000 experience almost, times two first win a day without a premium account, so that is quite a substantial amount of credits anyway. And you would have seen, or you can see there, he would have earned over 116,000 credits, 4,364 experience, over times two first win a day with premium. All kinds of good damage here, four kills secured, but pretty much carried his team. In terms of damage, 4,000 damage, that Panzer, the RU251, who was being a bit of an arse, <laughs> was um, second in terms of experience, 2000, well, 1897 damage of his own, 2400 damage by the GW Panther. Fortunately, down here, a lot of his team didn't do a huge amount of damage, including this bad chat, who uh, is a tier 9 artillery, which is unfortunate. But then again, like I said, artillery have a lot of RNG in this game. Uh, in terms of base experience, this another Spearpanzer came top on their team. This M53, who almost killed Sturmjäger, had 3,000 damage of his own, and therefore came top on hit damage for his team. I must say 1455 base experience is very good indeed. 32 shots fired, 26 hits, 19 penetrations, so good accuracy unfortunately a lot of the shells did bounce uh, off side armour, angled armour on IS6s really, as well as the T-34 heavy tank for a couple of examples there. 780 Damage bought by armor, which is good. I must say I don't actually own an FCM, so I know they can bounce a few shots, though, uh, which may surprise you. 10 enemy vehicles damaged, 4 destroyed, 1200 damage assisted, 
quite a lot of travel time because he had to, or travel distance even, because he had to go all around the map defending every single location, essentially. 77,000 creds received, 7,800 on repairs, he did almost die, 8,000 on ammunition, so 32 shells fired and 8,000, you do the maths, 3,000 on a consumable. So he made 58,000 profit, this is what tier 8 premiums can do. The FCM is very good, and if you like your French heavy tanks, I would recommend picking one up perhaps on a sale, or maybe you already had one on a sale, the Christmas sale just went past, but there will be more sales in the upcoming year. And a 12 minute game breakdown of experience for yourselves. Or look at the breakdown of experience for yourselves. Thank you Stream Yeager for sending this in, I know Center Stage hasn't been here for a little while and a video including uh, a platoon action hasn't been here for a little while. Um, I think I'll probably call that a group group act or something going with a theatrical theme but there you go the FCM tell me your thoughts on the FCM do you have one do you like it do you not like it what's good what's bad about it in your opinion and as always I've been Geogen this has been World of Tanks with Stumiger and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one